Shooter Brand, I hope you guys ready. We have a talented kid that bring us to Racine, Wisconsin. And remember, if you want your own shooter merch, check out my website, imashooter.com. So let's get right into it, get to know our shooter. Let's go. Let's get to know our shooter. So, I know you love your kicks. Tell me what kicks you got coming in for this upcoming season. Mm -hmm. Them Bruce Lee Kobe's, for sure, for sure. The, the Bruce Lee Kobe's? Okay, yeah, them is nice. So, you, you warming up, you hooping, you got your headphones in. Tell me what artists that you listen to to get you like pumped up for a game. I want to say Lil Durk. Yeah, yeah, Lil Durk. Lil Durk, that's what it is, Lil Durk. So who's your favorite basketball player and who's your favorite team? Stephen Curry and the Warriors. So tell me, why is it so important to have a high basketball IQ on a basketball court? I mean, that's what really college coaches look for. They want to see who the smart, like who the smartest on the court, how you facilitate, you feel me, like hustle to. They just like it all. IQ really got it all in basketball. It's really smart, that's how it is. How many jump shots do you think you shoot a day? Probably like 200, 300. Being an eighth grader, what you think you need to improve on? What you think your strengths are? Oh, yeah, my strength is going to the rack. Can't nobody stop me in that. <laughs> so, but like working on it, like trying to dribble, pull up more, floater, stop floater. Yeah. So who would you say that you mark your game out though? Who you think you play like? John. John Moran. John Moran, that's definitely a good choice. So your dad, obviously he was a great basketball player. I'm sure he taught you a lot about playing basketball. Tell me something, tell me a trait that your mom taught you that you bring to the court each and every day. Like she always, when I step on the court, like she always tell me to keep good energy, show positive energy because if you talking back and showing negative energy and college coaches watching you, you never know when nobody watching you. So you always gotta have positive energy and just play your game. If something ain't going right, try your best to fix it. So, obviously you're playing high school basketball. Tell me something that you know you need to work on to elevate from eighth grade to being a freshman in high school. Strength, getting in the gym, strength. If you want to play basketball, what you think you're like, what's your second favorite sport? Football, of course. Football, so what physical, school, physical skills for football help you translate on the basketball court? Defense and being physical. That's, that's what I like, and hustle too, <laughs> sure. You rather get a bucket or assist? Bucket? <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you make your teammates better on the basketball floor? Like, um, like I get them to their spots if we run in the play or something. I'm gonna swing, get a lock, cut, pass, cut. They don't do, I'm, I'm gonna tell them what to do. I ain't gonna yell at them, talk them down because you're supposed to bring them up. That's what make the game even more fun. I mean, it's about winning, but you play the sport to have fun, basically. How did your upbringing help you become the basketball player here today, coming from like Chicago back and forth? Like, seeing my mom struggling, like, I never want to see my mom hurt again. Like, all the siblings I got, you know, you feel me? Like, if I make it out, we all make it out. My homies and cousins, even though they, you feel me, family could do some bad things, but love is love. If you love somebody, that love ain't gonna never change. Being a student athlete, give me a, a day in the life of, of you, you know, from like when you get up, you know, you're shooting your basketball routine, like, you know, go to school. Um, 
Feel me? I wake up at 6 30 every morning. 100 push ups, 100 squats, 100 sit up. Go to school, 7 30, get out 2 40, go right to the gym. 3 30 to 5. Get out of the gym. I, I really I go to the gym, just work on how to put up some shots, get ready for practice, warm up. Then go to practice, take it serious because you never know when it's gonna be your last time playing on the court. So it was hard every time I stepped on the court. And just bless another day for waking me up. And why is it so important to be a great student athlete to hit the books before you hit the court? Oh, it's definitely books first, but let me tell you this. Um, <laughs> you feel me? Um, when college coaches really come, recruits really come look at you, they don't look how your skill is. They look at what's your GPA and what you learn and how smart you is and how you finance in the classroom and all that, how you act and stuff. 